Pico 4 vs Oculus Quest 2, all you want to know. The VR market has been firmly in control for the past two years. However, MetaQuest 2 quickly established a quasi-monopoly by offering beginner-friendly virtual reality at an unbeatable price. The Pico 4 is the first virtual reality headset to challenge this position. Despite having slightly better hardware, it works independently, offers well-known VR games, and costs less than the MetaQuest 2. So which one of them is actually better? Let's find out in today's video, and if you have missed out on other meta updates or trends, subscribe now to MetaHub and enjoy! Here we begin. So ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok and a competitor to Meta, acquired Pico in the summer of 2021. The owner of the fastest growing social network is now competing with Meta in the virtual reality space by investing its technology and pricing its products aggressively. While Pico previously sold its VR products primarily to enterprises and Chinese consumers, the company is now expanding into the Western market as ByteDance. The Pico Neo 3 Link was the first to officially hit the market. Pico officially unveiled the Pico 4 on September 22nd after much speculation. This is the first time Western consumers can choose between two low-cost standalone headsets, MetaQuest 2 and Pico 4. Although the Pico 4 incorporates some new VR technology, it is not directly a competitor to Meta's upcoming Quest Pro VR headset. The Pico 4 Pro, which will be released later, is better suited for this purpose. Display and Design Both headsets have a similar appearance, with mostly white chassis and smooth curves used throughout. The most notable difference is Pico 4's glossy black front panel, which makes the headset look like a pair of futuristic ski goggles. The Quest 2 comes standard with basic fabric head straps, but Meta also sells a rigid version with an extended battery pack for an extra $119. Meanwhile, the Pico 4 comes standard with a rigid strap that resembles the upgraded Elite strap on the Quest. The Pico 4's battery is located at the back of the head strap, which allows for better weight distribution, whereas the Quest 2 keeps all the hardware on the front. This means the Pico design places less weight directly on your face, resulting in a more comfortable experience. The Quest 2 has a manual three-stage IPD adjustment by pushing the lenses into three different positions. The Pico 4's IPD adjustment is motorized and accessible from the system menu. On the Pico, it's a sleeker and more modern solution, but whether or not that matters is up to the individual. If your IPD measurement falls between the Quest presets, you'll undoubtedly appreciate the Pico 4's granule control. Visual and Controls The Pico 4's display is higher resolution than the Quest 2, so the content appears sharper. When comparing the Fresnel lenses on Quest 2, it also uses pancake lenses, which are less prone to flaring and have better clarity towards the edges of the frame. Pico claims a 105 degree field of view, but we don't have a comparable figure for the Quest 2. During our testing, we discovered that the FOV on the Pico 4 did seem to be slightly wider. The Pico 4 is a full color pass through camera that allows you to see your surroundings without taking off your headset. It's better than the Quest 2 monochrome camera, but it still needs some improvement. At time of writing, neither headset can use this camera for mixed reality experiences, but Pico says MR experiences are on the horizon. Both headsets include wireless touch controllers, which have very similar button layouts. Both have joysticks, grab buttons, and triggers in similar places. Both use rings to track their location, but are used in very different ways. The Pico 4 controller wraps the ring around the back of your hand, allowing you to hold the controllers closer together without them colliding. This minor change is quite useful in practice, allowing you to perform in-game actions like notching an arrow without having to worry about the controller's physical size. App Library and Software The Pico app ecosystem is a smaller subset of what Meta's Quest App Store offers, which is one of the headset's major drawbacks. 
However, there are many familiar favorites here, such as Walkabout Mini Golf, Demio, Eleven Table Tennis, Red Matter, and many others. But many games still need to be included, including some meta-owned titles like Beat Saber and Population 1, Resident Evil 4, Moss, Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, and many others. The Quest 2 wins in game selection, especially since the Pico 4 lacks true exclusives to compensate for its losses. Some fitness apps, such as Les Mills Body Combat and O-Shape, but Beat Saber and the popular Supernatural subscription app aren't included. Pico's promised body tracker accessories for next year sound like they could provide extra full body fitness options that the Quest 2 currently lacks, but it's still being determined how good they'll be when, or if, they arrive, and what apps they'll actually work with. Hardware and Battery The Pico 4 and Quest 2 are both powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 platform, so performance could be impairable. However, the Pico 4 has a slight advantage with 8GB of RAM versus the Quest 6GB. In addition, both headsets are available with 128GB or 256GB of internal storage. The Pico 4 has a larger battery pack than the Quest 2, but both headsets will only give you about 2-3 hours of playtime in real-world use. If you need more playtime, both headsets can be boosted by external battery packs and a variety of specially designed batteries are available, the majority of which can work with both headsets. Price and Availability The Pico 4 costs €429 Euros for a 128GB model, and €500 Euros for a 256GB model. Unfortunately, it will not be available in the United States, but the starting price is approximately $425. This price is lower than that of the MetaQuest 2, which starts at $400 for the same storage options. For now, it is promising, but I wouldn't pick Pico over Quest. Unless we are absolutely determined to avoid Meta's products at all costs, we go with the Quest 2 over the Pico 4. At promising, the Pico 4 is, its limited app library and software features need to be ready damp in my ecosystem for improved hardware over Meta's older headset. Next year, Meta will likely release a Quest 3 headset with features similar to the Pico 4. By that point, the Pico 4 may benefit from future software updates in the same way that the Quest 2 has. What do you think of these two VR headsets? Which one do you prefer, Oculus Quest 2 or Pico 4? Let us know in the comments down below, and if you are looking for more VR headsets, look for our other videos about VR headset reviews and updates, and wait no more and subscribe to MetaHub now! See you soon!